Thank you for joining us, and welcome to our webinar introducing you to the Fold and Glow, Cut and Glow, and Quick Step Split Fluorescent Protein Based Analysis Kits. My name is Tony Nakla, and I'm the Scientific Officer for Sandia Biotech. And we specialize in the production of protein and peptide analysis tools that are designed to expedite and facilitate development efforts in the drug and biotech industries. I've been in the industry for over 15 years and in several different capacities, including protein and peptide-based research and development. In the past, I developed and used techniques such as ELISA's that were, quite frankly, lengthy to develop and were time and reagent intensive and, most importantly, didn't always provide me with the reliable data I was looking for. So when I learned of Sandia Biotech's technology, and its ability to provide faster, less expensive, and more reliable protein analyses, I joined the team in order to assist in getting these tools to the market and into the hands of other scientists who would find them as valuable as I did. In this presentation, I'll demonstrate how our technology has distinct advantages over other techniques, such as ELISA's, Aptimers, and multiplexing, because it's highly specific, faster, cheaper, and eliminates false positives. These advantages, of course, can translate into expedited protein and peptide-based treatments for many diseases, including those that you might be interested in. GFP-based technologies have been available for several years. In fact, the Nobel Prize in Chemistry was awarded in 2008 to the scientists who discovered it. Our product line involves a split version of GFP and includes Fold and Glow, which is a system that is used to quantify the expression level of a tag protein or to determine the solubility of a protein or its domain or to determine protein aggregation. The Cut and Glow system for protease activity or inhibition and the Quick Step system for specific peptide detection. Our split GFP technology, which was developed by a team led by Dr. Jeffrey Waldo at Los Alamos National Labs, is an innovative analytical tool that is comprised of two highly engineered fragments. One of them is a relatively heavy detection fragment, and the other is a much smaller, lighter tagging fragment. And according to Dr. Waldo, GFP technology is limited by the fact that existing fluorescent protein tags can perturb protein solubility or may not work in living cells. One way to get around this is to split the bulky fluorescent proteins into smaller pieces that might be less bothersome as tags. But existing split GFPs are poorly folded and interfere with protein behavior. This makes them risky for use for monitoring protein interactions and tagging protein. To overcome these drawbacks, Dr. Waldo and his colleagues have engineered soluble, self-associating GFP fragments that perform as exemplary tags. To illustrate this technology, this is a properly expressed protein with our exposed tagging fragment, that is the smaller 16 amino acid uh, tag that doesn't interfere with structure, conformation, or function as whole GFP or other tags. The tag protein self-assembles with the heavier detection fragment. This is a larger 27 KDA fragment that binds only the small fragment in a very specific and irreversible manner, resulting in a fluorescent GFP fusion protein. It's important to note that neither fragment can fluoresce alone, but only when bound to each other, and therefore there are no false positives caused by nonspecific signaling. As you're well aware, Determining the level of expression, correct conformation, and solubility or aggregation of proteins is essential in drug discovery and development. This assay can provide structural information as a misfolded, aggregated, or insoluble protein will not bind the detection fragment and as a result will not generate a signal. An additional advantage to this technology is that it can circumvent the steric limitations of antibodies with the relatively small size of the tagging and detection fragments. The tagging fragment at a one-to-one -one molar ratio to ligand does not interfere with the activity 
and allows for kinetic and functional assay. Fragment complementation occurs within minutes, and the interaction saturates in a matter of hours. The tag offers the same advantages as radiometric assay without the hazards and can be used on standard fluorescent analysis equipment used for either direct or immunofluorescent assay. The 110 detection reagent is an engineered fragment of GFP that's also available in green, cyan, and yellow that specifically and irreversibly binds the tagging fragment on the protein or peptide of interest. This is very specific binding and eliminates the need for antibody or optimer detection. Because the system only fluoresces when it self-assembles to the tagging fragment, there is no nonspecific signaling, as is the case with antibodies. Further, there's little or no need for washing, while blocking and incubation steps are typically not required. The entire fluorescent protein complex is only 27 kDa, which is roughly five and a half times smaller than IgG. This, of course, allows for more effective entry into permeabilized cells and bind target proteins and peptides within a cell. And since the split detection system does not fluoresce unless both fragments have self-assembled, no extra washing is necessary. Samples can be analyzed soon after staining. As I mentioned earlier, GFP has been around for many years and has been used in a lot of creative ways. Our technology features the Fold and Glow Protein Solubility Kit, which allows a test protein to be expressed as an N-terminal fusion with GFP and will determine the amount of protein that is properly folded in a given sample as the folding reporter gives a signal directly proportional to the amount of correctly folded protein. The kit can be used for detection and quantification of any protein by tagging and detecting either soluble or insoluble protein. We introduced Dr. Waldo earlier, and he and his team have spent the last 15 years or so improving the flexibility, usability, reliability, and sensitivity of GFP by engineering it to have more desirable characteristics. Their work has resulted in a GFP that fluoresces more brightly, does not perturb the protein of interest, and works reliably in a number of important scientific applications. But these improvements allow for the quantitation of the expression level of a target protein or determination of a target protein solubility or discovery of the domains of a protein that are soluble and for studying protein-protein interactions and also to reveal the effect of specific molecules on protein folding. The quick step peptide assay kit offers an alternative to cumbersome amino assays as well. Quick step increases specificity and sensitivity and eliminates the use of antibodies and the costly steps associated with it. The peptide of interest must be custom synthesized and we have partnerships in place to expedite synthesis and to reduce cost. As I just mentioned, the quick step kits are custom and include only a few reagents. Attributes of the assay include no nonspecific binding, no need to develop or purchase antibodies, easy to use as a localization tracking and functional analysis tool, uh, five and a half times smaller than IgG, and of course, this all comes with a reduced cost and time. The cut and glow system is the first fully biological in vivo reporter of protease activity that emits fluorescence. This technology was developed by our colleagues at Health Research Inc and makes use of protease activatable switches that are based on split green fluorescent protein technology. The cut and glow approach involves the introduction of a stu structural distortion into one of the complementary fragments, that's the smaller GFP11, through the use of a conditionally stable tether that blocks protein self-assembly until the tether is cleaved. The distortion can be reversed upon proteolysis of the tether resulting in fragment assembly with GFP-110, which generates reconstituted functional GFP as illustrated in this figure. Potential applications for such technology includes detecting protease-based disease in microbial infections, for example, tuberculosis, botulinum, cholera, parvum, falciparum, and in trypanosoma cruzi, only to name a few. 
For detecting secreted proteases associated with cancer, such as PSA, sensing the HIV protease for monitoring AIDS therapy, and detecting self-associated matrix met metalloprotease proteinases involved in tissue remodeling, such as morphogenesis, angiogenesis, cirrhosis, and arthritis. In addition, the system can be applied to protein research and may be useful in substrate discovery in order to identify a peptide sequence cleaved by a particular protease, in protein discovery to identify a protease responsible for cleaving a specific peptide sequence, in protease evolution to identify protease variants created through mutation, and in protease detection uh, to detect characterized proteases in chromatographic fractions or lab buffers. Currently, the Cut and Glow product line consists of the HIV protease kit with its obvious applications in HIV research, the caspase 3 protease kit with applications in apoptosis research, the thrombin protease kit, the enteropeptidase protease kit, and the factor 10A protease kits. And soon, we'll expand on these protease-specific kits, and we'll also introduce a series of co-expression plasma kits. This assay is readily adapted via standard techniques to detect specific proteases or protease inhibitors or to map protease-specific or substrate preference in vitro or in vivo. The assay only requires two, a two reagents that are included in the ready-to-use kits. So to recap, there are many advantages to our technologies, such as presenting an alternative to custom antibodies, providing extremely high specificity and sensitivity, the ability to lower nonspecific signaling and background, the labeled protein or peptide of interest will retain functionality because the S11 tag, only 16 amino acids, will not interfere, and there's no need for covalent modification. In addition, you can eliminate the need for radioactivity. Additional advantages are that these systems work with any fluorescent platform, that is microscopy, fluorimetry, cytometry, or with a plate reader. Uh, our systems are all available in green, yellow, and cyan. Again, you've got a system that is much, much smaller than IgG, and typically washing, blocking, or fixing are not required. As you're well aware, antibodies have been a mainstay of labels in flow cytometry. However, they can be difficult to use in a homogeneous assay because of the nonspecific binding issues that are associated with it that require time-consuming washing and blocking steps. This slide compares the efficiency of split GFP technology to fluorescent antibodies in flow cytometry. Because we believe that the use of split GFP in flow cytometry with a known target would eliminate the extra steps of washing and blocking. So we devised a simple experiment to demonstrate this, and the results indicate that the fluorescence is comparable using either system, although there is considerable reduction in effective background when the split GFP system is used, resulting in increased assay sensitivity. The experiment also demonstrated a considerable reduction in the coefficient of variance generated when split GFP was used as compared to FITC labeled antibodies. This table outlines many advantages that our split GFP product line offers when compared with other technologies that are currently in existence. Drug developers will also find value in the use of the split GFP product line, particularly the simplicity and increased specificity and reduction in cost when compared to other technologies that are commonly used. In fact, Sigma Aldrich also recognized these attributes and has become our major global distribution partner for Fold and Glow and Cut and Glow products. Our products have been purchased by hundreds of laboratories globally, in academia and in industry. These include the NIH, Genentech, the Howard Hughes Medical Institute, the FDA, MIT, the Pasteur Institute, the Scripps Research Institute, and Berkeley Labs, only to name a few. So to summarize, the materials that I've introduced in this webinar are products that are based on split GFP technology that was developed at Los Alamos National Labs. These include the Fold and Glow, Cut and Glow, and Quick Step systems. 
all products are available in three colors, namely green, yellow, and cyan. And I've outlined also the numerous advantages over existing techniques that include antibodies or radioactivity are not required, an increased specificity due to the reduction or elimination of nonspecific signaling. Uh, this, of course, is going to result in an increased sensitivity and lower limits of detection and limit of quantitation. Functionality is maintained with a much smaller tag. There's a reduction in time as no blocking, incubating, incubating or washing are necessary. And all of this translates into a reduction of cost. The products are proven and are being used in labs all over the world. So I'd like to thank you for, for joining me today. And please feel free to visit us on the internet at www.sandiabio.com or contact us directly by mail at info at sandiabio.com or by telephone at 1-866-342-0224. Thank you.